Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're at Cleburne State Park again. Uh, in my last video, which was last week, uh, the weather didn't cooperate. Um, it was raining. It just I just wasn't happy with the trip. And uh, although I got an image that I kind of liked, it wasn't anything to go in my portfolio. So um, I'm here again today. I don't know if you can see back there, but my dad's back there. And uh, gonna try and find an image. And uh, like I said in my previous video, um, I'm trying to do a lot less like walking B-roll um, just so that it'll cut down on the length of my videos and uh, just focus on like camera um, settings and stuff like that uh, in the final image. So yeah, we just had like a group of probably 23, 24 people walk by, like kids and adults and stuff like that. So, uh, coming to get my stuff now. I've been trying to take this photo for 20 minutes. Just, I get set up, everything looks fine in the camera, and then we've got a uh, group come by. But, uh, that's the one thing I have to keep telling myself is like, you know, this is a state park. Um, this land is not here just for me, it's here for everyone and um, just making me uh, not rethink my image but it's just making me uh, work out my patience I guess. So um, the group that just passed us with about 20 or so people, uh, they're almost out of the shot so we're going to go ahead and start getting set up. Um, the people aren't quite out of the shot yet but I can use this time to go ahead and uh, get my camera set up, like my settings and stuff. I'm using a Canon 5D Mark IV as always. We've got the 70 to 200 on, and um, I got my leaf filter uh, 100 millimeter system on here with a two stop hard edge um, graduated filter just to kind of kill out the sky a little bit. And um, like I said, I've got this trail in my foreground. Um, it's in my frame, it's starting in the bottom. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can see. But uh, the way I'm setting it up is I'm setting the trail in the bottom right of my frame. And how it's going is it's kind of leading right into these this group of trees, and you'll see it in a second. But uh, yeah, all I'm doing right now is just getting my uh, settings correct and all my uh, focusing set up. That way um, when that um, family group or whatever um, is gone, uh, man, it's bright. Uh, but whenever that group is gone, I can just go ahead and snap the image. Uh, right now there's not more people coming, but uh, it just, feel better to go ahead and get it out of the way. All right, so my settings are, um, F I'm, I'm at F11 at probably 150 millimeters. Um, I want this trail that I'm looking at to be the subject of my photo. And the reason why I'm on F11 is it gives me enough um, depth of field to where like the stuff way in the distance is blurry but the majority of my shot will be nice and clear and then uh, I'm at 1 60th of a second um, that way it is a little windy out here and um, the trees are moving very slowly but that way um, I get um, the shot nice and still and that way it'll be um, real easy to edit without having to go and clean up blurry branches so I got two second timer to eliminate shake happy with that. Um, let's go ahead and get this stuff packed up and we're going to continue looking around this park for more images. All right, we're heading back down to, there's like three waterfalls. There's one over here, one down here, and one on the end. And uh, I don't know, I've got an idea for this one. Um, the only thing is there's like branches in the way and like trees in the way. So, um, I don't know, we may be able to get an image, we may not. 
But it looks kind of cool. Let's dodge this tree for a sec. No. It looks too, uh, like there, it looks pretty cool, but there's too much trash. Like branches, broken vines and stuff like that. Um, there's like some reeds and stuff up over like, on, like where the waterfall starts, I guess. And there's a whole bunch of dead uh, reeds and stuff on the waterfall. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna go for that. But further down this way, there's more um, things to look at, compositions, I guess. I'm not gonna say compositions because uh, I really don't know, but um, so far I really like that uh, that shot looking down the uh, trail or the walkway. And uh, right now, I'm just trying to find something else. Cause that looks cool. There's something down here, I'll just show you. This looks cool, but there's nowhere for me to set up. Like there's a little landing right there, but I would want to be over in this area and there's nowhere to stand. So that kind of sucks, but we might be able to go over here and set up looking back this way. So um, I'm going to go down there and try and set that up and see what that looks like. So. We'll pick this up when I get down there because I'm walking on this pretty steep trail and I don't want to fall, so. All right, so we're on this cliff right here. And I've got the waterfall behind me and uh, I framed up my composition. Um, something I think really looks good, but uh, real quick, my there are people all over the place and I hate filming in front of people. But uh, real quick, I've got the 24 to 70 on this time, not the 70 to 200. Uh, I'm all the way at 70. Um, it gives me like, composition that I want and I don't feel the need to go any uh, zoom in any further and then uh, my settings I'm at f11 still so that everything in the uh, uh, image is going to be sharp I'm in ISO of 100 because we have plenty of light out here and then uh, I'm doing a one and a third second uh, exposure and uh, on the lens I've got a Lee six stop uh, ND filter so let's move this over here Everything's been everything's been uh, focused. A two, two second timer for shake. Yeah, I think after we edit that one, I think it'll turn out real nice. So we're gonna pack up and we're gonna keep looking. All right, so we made it to a second overlook area. It's called an overlook, but it's more just like a scenic area. And uh, sorry, we're breathing hard because we're climbing in elevation pretty good. So, um, wasn't really anything there image wise, but uh, we're gonna go back to the dam where we were um, in an earlier part of this video. And we're going to, um, Try and get like a sunset image there. Hey y'all, if you've stuck through this far in the video, just do me a favor and let me know if you like this uh, method better with less B-roll and more just kind of talking to you guys. Um, I'm starting to like it. And at the same time, I'm kind of wishing I did more B-roll. So um, yeah, if you've made it to this far in the video, just let me know how you like it. Um, it was a change I felt needed to happen um, I was getting too similar to other channels on YouTube 
and uh, I'm trying to make it my own thing, you know, so yeah, just do me a favor and let me know. All right, guys, we're back out on the dam. The sun is going down, the temperatures are going down. You can see I'm all bundled up, got my gloves on. Uh, just real quick, show you what I'm working with. Um, got a tree right here. It's gonna be on the right third of my frame and a group of reeds right here. Uh, the wind is starting to pick up, so that kind of sucks. So I'm having to bump my shutter speed. And with that, I'm also having to bump my ISO a tad just so that my image is properly exposed. But uh, the way the sunlight is coming off, I don't think we're going to get a lot of like fiery color in the sky, but I think we are going to get um, some good color on the tree. So um, just real quick, my uh, my settings, I'm at 1 60th of a second at F11. That way everything, even if it's moving slightly, it'll be nice and still and nice and sharp. And then I've got an ISO of 250 because the sun is going down, we're losing light and I'm having to bump my shutter speed a little bit. Um, kind of cool, kind of mad, but these birds are starting to land on my one of my subjects. So hopefully that looks okay. this far in the video I really appreciate you watching uh, go ahead and hit the like button and uh, if you don't mind if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and hit the subscribe button too and uh, like I said earlier I'm kind of trying to do my videos in a different kind of uh, style so uh, let me know how you like that uh, trying to do less b-roll more one-on-one -on -one with the camera so um, yeah I'm gonna run the image at the end so uh, yeah no matter when you watch this video I hope you enjoy the rest of your day see you guys